James Jones from the Mid-Pacific ICT Center in San Francisco at our 2011 Winter ICT Educator Conference with Jan Half. And Jan is with Mouse Squad, right? Right, Mouse Squad of California. It's the nonprofit IT support provider in California. We train students how to do IT support at their schools or agencies. And those students might be anywhere from the age of 10 to 18. It's a great name. Yes, actually it has a double meaning. It was, it, it stands for making opportunities for upgrading schools and education. And then the double meaning of course is computer mouse. And it was named by the developers of the online curriculum in New York, which is where our headquarters is. They've been around for about 12 years. Here in California, we've been around for about seven. So it's not just a California thing. There's a network of my squad. I guess around, did you say mouse squads or mice squads? Mouse squads is huh? probably the, pro the, <laughs> the proper name. And yes, they have about 60 or 70 mouse squads in New York. They have about 40 in Chicago. And then we have about 80 here in California, mostly in San Francisco and Silicon Valley, although we've just started expanding into Southern California. And then there are a few other scattered mouse squads around in a few other states, but primarily New York, Chicago, and then of course here in California. Great. So how does it work? What, what does a mouse squad do? Okay, well, the way it works is there needs to be a teacher, there needs to be students, anywhere from 5 to 25 students, there needs to be a supportive administrator, and there needs to be a little bit of funding because we are uh, funded by corporations and foundations, but we do subsidize it and then charge a little bit to the school or agency. They do this either as an after-school program or they incorporate it into an elective or a computer class. And we license the curriculum from New York, and the curriculum consists of 10 modules, about 30 hours total. So if a mouse squad meets uh, two hours, then it's going to take a few months to get through the curriculum. The curriculum has technical topics like hardware, software, operating system, things like that. But the other modules have to do with customer service, communication, problem solving, all the skills that I just heard in one of the sessions here at this wonderful conference the employers were saying it's not just the technology that they want their employees to have, but they want to have they want them to have the communication skills, the problem solving, the good attitudes, working in teams. So we feel that through Mouse Squad the students can learn those skills as well. So the online curriculum, there's a lot of hands-on activities and project-based learning. And then the other component is that we involve the business community. We either have them volunteer on an, a weekly basis, we have them be guest speakers, we provide shadowing experiences, field trips, and then at the high school level the idea is for the students to actually have internships with some of these employers. So that's it in a nutshell, what the students do and in the process they're setting up a help desk at their school or agency. So for first level support, not the real complex problems, but for kind of the, you know, replacing the color cartridges or printer cartridges. Uh, and it's not just with computers, they're actually learning like um, how to troubles troubleshoot and problem solve with document cameras, interactive whiteboards, TVs, video, just anything technical. So they're really helping their teachers so the teachers can focus on the school and the learning. Great. So the students learn basic information and communications technologies, but technology is not enough, so they learn uh, how to apply that technology in the real world mm -hmm. uh, through problem solving and communication and other things. And then they get a chance to actually do that. Exactly. Internships and job shadowing and providing services in their local schools. Correct. That's exactly right. Awesome. So if somebody were interested in engaging with this, uh, getting a mouse squad going at their school, how would they do that? They should go to our website which is 
C-A dot mouse squad, M-O-U-S-E, S-Q-U-A-D dot org. And there they will be able to contact us and we can get them going. We pretty much have an open time that, that schools and agencies can participate mm -hmm. and they can do it in the summer or any time during the year mm -hmm. and they just need to have, as I said, the students, the in computers with the internet access, an instructor, a supportive administrator and a little bit of funding and they're ready to go. And what's the age range? The age range really goes from age 9, like 4th grade or so, up to 18, like seniors in high school. Out of our 80 sites in California, 60 of them are middle school, so middle school is just a perfect time for this, but we are thrilled that we now have high school students as well as even those upper elementary, because they're like the leaders of their school. And that's the whole other element. We call it a student tech leadership program, because these students really become the leaders of the school, and whenever there's any technical support that's needed for an assembly or for any kind of event, mm -hmm. like a conference or a summit, mm -hmm. that the Mouse Squad students are called on to do this. So they become the leaders. So you can imagine they are developing more confidence. And it's just another possible way that they could be engaged and just motivated. So they may not be, you know, mm -hmm. the best athletes or even all A students, but this is something that is important to them and that they do well in and if they can really shine as a result of this. So we're very excited about the potential and would love to get the word out and just so appreciate the opportunity to be here at this conference and to speak with you. Yeah. And one of the great, uh, I guess, outcomes of this is that you're attracting people into these fields early. So for young people who have an interest in computer stuff, whatever that is, there's a, there's a way that they can be exposed to that and learn more and stick their toe in the water and decide, is this something that I really want to know more about and do more of. So, fabulous. Right, that's what we're finding, especially at that age of 10, 11, and 12, before they get tracked into something else. This is a, a chance for them to see whether this might be something that they want to do. And there's so many careers now that involve technology and IT skills that they can do it in health and education and government and retail, just, you know, so many fields. So, we think it's you know, a great program, great opportunity for our young people. Wonderful. Well, All thanks right. for coming and sharing your great story at our event. My pleasure, and thank you for the opportunity. All right.